Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how we can style and embed our BotPress chatbots live on our websites. Let's do it. Okay, so step number one is we need to hop into BotPress and actually publish the chatbot that we want to customize and embed on our website. So to do that, pick the chatbot you want to customize. We're gonna come into the workspace and then I'm just gonna come up here and hit this publish button. All right, and I'm gonna publish this chatbot because if we don't do this, we won't be able to embed this bot on our site or customize the settings. All right, cool. So once that is published, I can pop back to my chatbot settings and I'm gonna come over to this integrations tab. And from within integrations, I wanna stay on the settings tab. All right, now this general section right here is where we're going to update and customize the details of our chatbot. So for example, uh, I'm updating my JFK chatbot, so I'm gonna give it a name. Uh, I'm going to give my chatbot an actual avatar. So I wanna load in a picture of JFK so that when someone is on my website, uh, they get a nice JFK image and it looks like you're actually talking to them. So I'm just gonna go find a picture online of JFK. I'm gonna copy the URL and drop that in right here. I'm gonna give it a description. This is my JFK chatbot. Uh, my composer placeholder is kind of what's gonna show up at the bottom of my bot. Um, so this will just say chat with JFK. All right, cool. So we've given our chatbot some details here. We've given it an avatar. Now I wanna actually impact and customize the style and look of my chatbot on my website. Okay, so to do that, I'm just gonna come down here and I'm going to launch our style sheet, our bot press style sheet. And this is where we're actually going to be able to customize the colors, the feel, the size, the radius of our chat window that we're gonna embed on our website. So for example, I can choose our chatbot avatar color here. All right, so I'll just do like maybe a soft little red. We'll do a little red, white, and blue here. Uh, my background, maybe a soft blue, you know, something like that. I can update my bot's color. So what does JFK's uh, bubbles look like? We'll make him red. We'll make our users maybe a blue and leave it like that. All right, cool. So we can customize all that. Oh yeah, I'll come back here and I'll actually change the background container to something a little lighter, something like that. This is really ugly, but you get the point. You can customize all these colors to match your brand, to align with your brand and go from there. All right, I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna actually curve my uh, bot's corners here a little bit. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of border radius. I'm gonna move it up in my window a little bit and move it horizontally a little bit in my window, just like that, cool. I wanna make it a little taller, all right? So all the customization options that you need are right here from within the BotPress style sheet, okay? When you're done and you, and you like the way it looks, which I can't say I really love the way this looks, but whatever, uh, you're gonna come down here and you're gonna hit generate link and you're gonna copy this link, this style sheet link it gives you you're gonna pop back to your BotPress Studio, your BotPress uh, settings page. You're just gonna copy that URL in right there into your style sheet URL, okay? And you're gonna come down here and hit save configuration. That is how you style your chatbot from within BotPress. Now, the final step here is, how do we embed this chatbot live on our website? Well, to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back up here and we have a couple options. We have a pre-configured option and a configurable option. I'm going to use this configurable option. I think it's a little more reliable than pre-configured. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to copy our script here. Now, I'm gonna hop over to Webflow, which is what I use to build my websites, but you can do this with any website builder you use as long as you have the ability to paste in custom code in between your body tags on your website. So in Webflow specifically, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here to my homepage and I'm gonna paste this code that I copied right before my body tag, all right? And then I'm gonna hit save, I'm gonna publish this and then I'll refresh my site and see what our chatbot looks like. Now again, if you're using WordPress or something else, just plop this in between the body tag, however you do it on those website builders. So that's published now, I'll come here and hit refresh and we can see, all right, I have my chatbot here, it pops up. So it is working and I'll just open this bad boy up and we can see we have custom colors, custom style of our chatbot right here inside of my website. Okay, so let's just make sure that this chatbot is operational on our website after we embedded it here. So I will just say, um, hey, do you love your wife, Jackie? 
Now, I made this chatbot in my last video where we made an AI persona chatbot. If you wanna see how I built this chatbot before we customized it and styled it, go check out that video. I will have it linked right here up above. Um, and here he comes. So he's thinking, and there he comes. Uh, JFK says, I hold a deep love and affection for my wife, Jackie. She's a remarkable woman, all right? So we have now embedded and customized the style of our AI chatbot live on our website by using BotPress. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was short and sweet, but I've had a lot of you guys asking how to embed and how to customize your chatbots from inside BotPress. So I hope this answered a lot of your questions. If you guys like this video, go down and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. That would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for the kind words in the comments lately, and I'll see you all in next week's video. Peace.